from the awkward tiny house. Water break. So, like I've been teasing, um, I because of the stress test with my little cubic uh, cube fridge freezer, little bar fridge basically, I brought it over here. We had a successful 24-hour test until later that afternoon, the weather was uh, crap for three days, uh, basically rained for 72 hours straight, which means uh, my solar could not keep up with the uh, cycling of the fridge. Now. There is ways around that with a timer. However, I'm probably not going to go that route. Um, I'm going to probably lean more hard into a 12 volt fridge freezer. Yes, they're expensive. Yes, they work really well. And they use about 3 amps a day. Something like that. Um, I've heard consumption wise so I've been on Amazon looking up I've uh, saved a bunch of stuff to my wish list and I will be uh, seriously uh, considering buying one of those I found one for just under seven hundred dollars and it's a uh, large capacity 12 volt fridge freezer it's a name brand I've never heard of, but it has 180 purchases slash reviews, and they're all almost perfect. Um, whereas the other ones, not so much. Now, I looked at the Dometic uh, ones that uh, the Solar Cabin guy has been running for a while. Um, they're a little more pricey. Not a lot of good, well, the reviews are okay, but to get a decent size one, you got to spend two grand. That's as much as I paid for this trailer. <laughs> and actually, my off-grid batteries are cost just about as much as I paid for this trailer, the tiny house. So that puts a lot of pricing interest per into perspective for you guys um, now I don't know when I'll be pulling the trigger on the fridge but it is on my queue for next purchases um, if all goes well financial wise um, and that will be sweet because be much nice it'd be really well, off-grid refrigeration is pretty sweet that way. So if I can buy a 12-volt direct compressor on the, that's going to run all my gear, then I'm doing it. So I think it's, um, it's highly up on my list of the next purchase, guys. Because now that the lithiums are pretty much done, the, I'm done battery-wise, other than the fact that the defunct ones back there will both get replaced by a single battery and actually that leads me into today's project which is now that I have some time I'm going to be running and fishing um, about 50 feet of he pretty heavy gauge wire across my ceiling and over here because we're going to attempt to hook up my wind turbine to an MPPT to feed into my lithium batteries to give me that extra at nighttime and in crap weather. So depending on how well this works, I may not need the 12 volt fridge. So we'll see, but I got a full, days, full day ahead of me. And um, guys, I have an ant problem in here. I do not have any food in the tiny house. So could you let me know the best route on that? Um, I did have a fly issue and that was because, it may sound gross, 
Um, the composting toilet vents are heavily screened. They were they're slide on. Um, the tubing was slid on. It's it wasn't tightened at all. So I'm assuming that's where the flies were coming from. So I just took electrical tape, clamp, tighten that down, and that's ended the fly problem for me. So other than that, I have a fly swatter, and I've been using it on ants. And uh, we're super annoyed that we have ants in here. But ants are not too big of an issue unless they're the nasty ones. They're just annoying. But I've only seen a couple, so. I put, a, uh, I put all my ant traps actually underneath the tiny house. So hopefully that knocks out a ton of them and kills the colonies. And then that solves my issues here. So I gotta get fish in this wire. And by the way, I did not buy this CBC t-shirt. Um, government propaganda in Canada. Um, it was given to me for free, so I said, okay. Free's good. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna probably put on some uh, podcasts or something while I'm working, and I'm gonna fish this wire. Um, right there, that red guy, or orange, is a 50 foot fish that I'm going to shoot from here all the way down and hopefully uh, we'll be able to grab onto it. Now, what I want to do is kind of fish it on this side because I want to avoid all my loads that are the wires run straight across here so I want to run the fish kind of this way and across and then hook on the wires pull them back through and go from there so I'll get back to you when that's done hopefully all right so after about three tries I'm pretty much pissed that this goddamn snake is too goddamn flexible for running this bitch through the ceiling because once it's up there guys it does not want to stay straight it wants to curl back up because that's how it's kept in that little rod so it wants to go like this up inside the ceiling which is useless to me so mm. so anyways oh. Oh man, I'm raging. So, <clears throat> I'm either going to have to tape these wires together and try to feed them as is, all the way to the end, or something. Because this little uh, snake thing is pretty much uh, useless. Um, yeah. Really, really useless. Why do they not make anything that's solid, straight, and stays true for feeding stuff? Right? Guess not. Um, so I'm going to keep messing around, see what I can do, put the camera on charge. I'll be back. Alrighty, guys. I've pretty much given up on trying to feed these wires through the ceiling. It's basically not going to happen unless I start removing ceiling panels, and I'm not going to do that. So, what I'm going to plan on doing is I'm going to follow, I'm just going to staple these wires up in the corner on this side all the way over. And I pray to God that all this struggling I'm doing works. I need the wind turbine to help boost up the lithium iron phosphate battery for nighttime uses and crap weather and storms. I really hope this works because I'm putting a whole lot of effort in and getting a whole lot of nowhere. Working alone sucks sometimes, like horribly bad. Um, so I can feel the humidity starting to get crazy in here. Um, not a good thing. Let me check this solar. We're sitting at 13.11 uh, volts 
and we only we only got a little bit of not even an amp coming in what's up with that it must be getting cloudy out let me look oh yeah looks like storms a brewing again god and there's no wind today right now but it is dark and cloudy out looks like more rain so uh, what I did was I ended up taping um, my two wires, the positive and negative, together all the way along the entire length of that, uh, you know, that wire. And I found a spot where one of the connections came out or was loose, so I ripped it off, redid it, taped the hell out of it, uh, made a new uh, clamp connection on it. But, man... This is one hell of a job. I hate it.